Hi everyone, and if you've noticed, I do have the Mailer Light app on my screen. So of course, we are going to do a demo on the Mailer Light app. And for today, I'm just going to show you how to use automation. This is a feature that a lot of email marketers use because it makes sending out email campaigns easier and more systematic. So we'll go ahead and start with it. So what you want to do first is click on the automation tab on the top and then create a new workflow. So a workflow is like your timeline or your general plan on how your emails are going to be sent out to your customers. And I'll just start by naming this workflow. There are a lot of ways how you can start an email marketing campaign automatically. So like for example, the anniversary, anniversary date. So if in case you have information about your customer regarding their birthday or maybe their joining date, you can maybe send out an automatic email to them saying that congratulations or happy birthday. So email or mailer light does that for you automatically. You don't have to go through all of your data seeing or thinking whose birthday is it so this is where the automation comes into play so for today i'm just going to do a video let's say someone join or sign up for your newsletter and then we'll send them out an email so when someone joins a group and then we'll save Usually when someone joins a group or your signs up for your newsletter, it would be best to welcome them. And don't forget to click the Google Analytics box there so that you get data or feedback on your emails. And I'm just going to select a default email here. Let's just say this. I'm just totally selecting so, something random. Just want to show you how the automation works. Okay, so we'll just click on done editing. So there we go. So once someone signs up for your newsletter, MailerLite will automatically send them a welcome email, which is this. And then what really impressed me about MailerLite is that you can set your email campaigns to go according to how your customers interact with your emails. Unlike with some other um, email marketing software, you can only automate by um, placing autoresponders or maybe uh, having a template that is based on day. So it's like day one, you send this email, and then after that, after five days, another email gets sent out. But here with MailerLite, you can choose or you can send your customers different emails depending on what they do on your email so let's say your welcome email they didn't open or they didn't open the welcome email so it's gonna be welcome email and it's not or was opened so when your welcome email is open, maybe you can send them a letter again and then just say, how are you? Then 
course google analytics you can maybe get a letter on or send an email that says hi how are you did you get the email how was it did you try this some um the suggestions there if not uh, maybe you can do this maybe you can do that so it's like you're building up a relationship with your customers through your email click done editing And next is what if, just in case, the email doesn't get open. Right, like here, the condition, or it doesn't get open. So what do you do? You can, I'm just going to show you delay. So maybe if they didn't open within five days, five days then you can send out an email content another email it's like a temp check email and since they didn't open your first email maybe on this email what you can do is ask them hi i noticed that you haven't opened your welcome package it would be really nice or why not open it so you can get the discount or you get the ebook that sort of thing so at least it reminds them sometimes well with a lot of emails that people are receiving they can sometimes forget that they sign up for something and that they need to uh, read their email so that's what the conditions are for on the automation, which I really love because as I've said, you can interact with your customers in a way that you would as a person and doesn't get or your emails doesn't get in too much in your face. And you can also personalize it because um, the email, you can drip out the emails depending on how they interact with you so the automation can just go on forever like send another email send put another delay put another condition or put another action but as long as you have a plan mapped out you can just build on the automation so that you can get people to continue or you can build on your subscribers build a relationship with them through email marketing so it's not really easy people think automation is scary but it's really simple you just have to click a few dots here few information here and there and that's it so i hope you'll be able to use the automation on your campaign because this is another way for you to reach out to your customers. So that's it. Thank you. And uh, if you have any other questions, clarifications, or if you want to view my other um, tutorials, you can go to my website. You can go to Facebook. And uh, you can also visit me on YouTube. So this is it for me. Bye.